it's Kugi again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got the Cyanogen Mod 12 for Galaxy S3. Now CM12 is now in the Alpha 4 phase, this is developed by Just Archie who is one a great developer, he has the Archie Droid series also and he's the one who is bringing the um, Cyanogen Mod 12 to our devices. Now, uh, I've already done a lollipop review of the Nameless ROM, which is a pretty good ROM. It's good enough for trying out all the lollipop features, most of the lollipop features, so that you can really use everything. So, yeah, let's get into the ROM now. First of all, what you would see here is the standard lollipop uh, lock screen, which is pretty simple. You can double tap to uh, open whatever is in the notification. The notification bar just opens up, so that's really cool. Now, uh, I've used this for three days because because I really feel this is something which you can use as a daily driver if you're not using this as your main phone because well it doesn't it still doesn't really support uh, 2g 3g data uh, I cannot make calls on this uh, that's I think that has to do something with my sim card also because uh, I'm also in roaming right now so that's really a problem for me so yeah that is also there but this is kind of a really awesome ROM now Features wise, uh, CM12 is not really a feature rich ROM right now because it's still tapping into the powers of Lollipop and it's, um, well what, it ha what happened is that I was using uh, Cyanogen Mod uh, with its 7th iteration that is uh, 7.0 RC2 on my Galaxy Ace. Um, at that time it was a more uh, feature rich ROM than the stock one so that's something different but right now this is more stock uh, lollipop features which are available for a lot of people so that's really cool now uh, think, uh, let's go to the settings menu now you can see the normal notification of lollipop with the, all the fixed uh, quick launch buttons with the uh, profile icon settings and battery now the battery life is not the best one but I think it's better than the nameless ROM which I reviewed li uh, last time so that is something which I really like now all the features are same as uh, lollipop you can see Android version here which is the lollipop you can click it a bunch of times so it changes and you can play of course the yeah you can uh, play the flappy Android bot game which is also popular right now so you can do that so that's really cool um, you do have a few settings here you have AC Linux in uh, status is disabled you can long process and uh, I think you can enable that by some way I don't really remember but you can do that so that's really cool uh, what else do we have now um, in terms of extra settings there are a few uh, like the personalization there is status bar you have a uh, brightness control if you have the automatic brightness in, uh, option disabled you can use the status bar brightness which was available in earlier science and mod uh, roms which was really cool for devices which does not have an adaptive brightness so you can use that now quick pull down is also really cool if you don't have any notifications uh, just pulling down would give you the notification the uh, quick toggles rather than the this screen uh, rather than this screen that with the, just the notification so that is available so that's really cool uh, now I'll get that get into that feature later so yeah uh, everything else does seem to work Wi-Fi works I'm using Wi-Fi right now I have already using this to my account Bluetooth works data usage all works that's really cool everything does really seem to work correctly cellular networks does not work but there is a temporary fix to get the data working uh, it's available in the website I'll show you I'll give you guys a link to it you can try that out it does work but uh, I don't think that is enough to make people use this as a, their daily main phone um, maybe not so yeah that's really cool the only force force issue I, I had with this one is with the clock I'm not sure why but um, for someone who uses uh, your their phone as their alarm that might be a bit of a problem but hey that's just there um, so yeah that's just there something to like about the lollipop releases is that it's a beautiful ROM you really get a feeling of uh, MIUI into this and uh, but it, it isn't as taxing on your hardware as MIUI is so yeah that's something which I wanted to get out of the way so yeah what are the extra features that this has um, 
All the other lollipop features are something which you may have uh, accomplished to, so you know what all are there. You do have button presses, you can select that. In display option, there are uh, brightness level, you can select that. Uh, adaptive brightness, if you turn this off, you can use the status bar to control your brightness. But I think it's much um, less useful because there is a brightness bar here, so you might just rather use this rather than that your mileage may vary your opinion may vary so that's there so that's really cool daydream ambient uh, display uh, it will uh, make the notification this bar make similar to the um, well it's it, it's no uh, that's not it uh, the ambient display wakes uh, screen when this uh, device picked up or notification or, yeah that's there so it's kind of like uh, active display so but it's it just wakes up the screen to show the notification so that's really cool so that is there that's really neat feature you can uh, change the font sizes I like mine small uh, because I like that uh, when devices rotation stay in portrait mode you can that's just um, the lock for the orientation sensor cast screen you can cast this to Comcast so Chromecast is natively supported in this so anyone using Chromecast on your on, in their home is going to love this feature so that's really cool in the advanced setting you do have double, pla double tap to sleep which is a science and more feature you can double tap the uh, status bar to make your phone sleep now the hope screen still does not work um, to wake the device up so that is I think that's uh, forgivable I guess it's not going to be a game changer for a lot of people notification and sound all the features which we like are still there which is the interruption which is really cool I really like that and um, here is the priority uh, sounds and for one hour or whatever you can select whatever you need even for 15 minutes so that is really cool so you can have that all that options you now notification access for uh, listeners are installed okay if you have listeners which are another category of stuff which I'll discuss maybe later so yeah you have a lot of options here now you still can use uh, SD card so that's not going to be a problem uh, like I don't think any other ROM has a problem with that but I had my problem with my Sony that uh, KitKat releases can't really uh, uh, apps installed on KitKat releases can't use the SD card for copying data and stuff like that. That's a really problem. Uh, just there uh, accounts you can have um, all of that working. Every everything which is Lollipop related is probably working in this. There are no problems. Okay, now the SIM lock is not uh, still not working, so that's something you may need to. Uh, have you must not have a sim locked phone before you install unlock the sim and then install this ROM if you really need to do that now the super user is actually the native one the uh, ones which were available with cyanogen mod rather than the super su which is a uh, standalone app so you have this one which yeah works correctly it's not going to be be a big deal I don't think so so you have that also now let's see performance wise this is still there are a few stutters you can see it, it it does not have the smoothest of animations and stuff like that but uh, all in all it, I think this is better it's moving forward in the right direction so that is really cool I really like that about it now the battery settings I would like to show you guys the battery you can see the battery curve now these curves are me not using my phone and the, sl the hill climb hill stuff what you see here is when I'm using my phone so that is just I, I think I, you cannot use this as a daily driver uh, because yeah it takes a lot of battery uh, but this is uh, the standby time is improved rather than very good um, it will it is going to improve more so that is pretty neat um, you do have the battery saver option which you can enable and have the red uh, status bar and uh, yeah you can have that I think it will work I think it does work uh, marginally but for a device which does not have native lollipop support I don't think it's going to do much so yeah that is there what else do we have now uh, let me show you guys the boot animation which is a standard cyanogen mod boot animation
so here is the cyanogen mod boot animation which is a really great one um it's minimalistic it says what it is it does its job so that's really cool and it's smooth So yeah, that is it about the ROM. Now the camera, the native of um, the stock camera app does not work. You need to use the Google camera, which you have to download from Play Store so you can have that. So that's really cool. Now I just want to show you guys how to get this um, profile pic here. Click there or anywhere you can have that. Now you can see this is actually um, the contacts app. So you need to go to the contacts and actually uh, pick pick a picture of yourself there it's not actually your profile pic it's just for your phone from your phone so that you can add you need to add your details and you need to use your profile pic here so you can add you can take a new photo you can select a photo uh, you can do a lot of things you can select and you can have that and it will be working there so that is it I uh, just wanted to show you guys that because a few people did ask me how to get that thing there so yeah I hope that much is it about the ROM. Again, about the ROM, it's not ready for daily use. Just I just want to stress that enough so that people do understand and they don't run into trouble. Um, do only use this if your your S3 is old. You're using it as a second second secondary phone, and um, yeah, that thing. So yeah, just do that. I guess that much is it about the ROM. Hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe, and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.